before this video begins, we have a sponsor. For those of you who've been on the channel for a while, you probably recognize the name Stamp Playrail Store, as I've mentioned them before in several other videos. And that's because I truly stand by what they do. From quality Thomas & Friends items ranging from Tomy to Departing Now, to great packaging and shipping, and all around quality, trustworthy sellers. If you're in the market for good Thomas & Friends items, look no further. When you order from Stamp Playrail Store, you're not only getting a quality product, but you're getting a quality experience all in all. But oh, just you wait, cause it gets better, my friends. If you shop Stamp Playroll Store, you can use my coupon code TVJUNCTION10 to get 10% off your first order. This is not only a good way to save some money, but also support my channel. So what are you waiting for? Click the link down below in the description of this video to get yourself some sweet Thomas and Friends merch. And thank you to Stamp Playroll Store for sponsoring the channel. So what's up members of the Peter Griffin household, it's your host with the most troublesome junction back in again with another Departing Now Thomas video. Now this is a re-recording because I felt that the other first take of this item went on for a little bit too long so you don't get to see me unbox it out of the box that it was shipped in but it's really, you're not missing too much. We all know what it is, it is the Departing Now Thomas here. Now, I am gonna really be kind of blunt with you guys. This won't be a complete review because mine is missing stuff. It does not have the back of the uh, cab back here, as well as the uh, whistle detail is unfortunately broken off of the one that I had gotten. And I will do a little bit of discussion here and I'll talk about it now. Unfortunately, when it comes to buying a lot of the more iconic characters of the Departing Now line, before I decided to make the investment into this line, you could find these guys everywhere. They were so ubiquitous. I mean, they were definitely heftier in price. They went for between 30 to $40, maybe 60 at the top. But these guys, unfortunately, are becoming harder and harder to find. It is so unfortunate. But uh, once I started to, you know, make the investment into the Departing Now line, I ended up buying Donald and Douglas first. And as soon as I bought them, all of a sudden, they became more and more common and showing up everywhere and much cheaper than what I paid for both of them. Then I bought Bill and Ben. And, I, and admittedly, I got them for a very reasonable price. But however, after I got them, these guys are probably the most common ones you will find on eBay as of the filming of this video. But the characters that used to be there all the time, your Thomases, Percy's, and Jameses, and even Henry, yeah, you're you're looking at maybe between $70 to $80 for those, and I'm just like, what the fuck happened? Who knows, maybe the Thomas community is plotting against me and just secretly hate me and don't want me to make more videos on these guys. But that's not gonna stop me here. So when I saw this guy get listed on eBay, he was listed for around like $30 plus shipping. I jumped on the opportunity because I've been really desperate to get my hands on just a normal Departing Now Thomas. Would have much preferred a push along, which I know that that's a very unpopular opinion, but I really like the push alongs. I just think that they're a lot, you know, easier to work with and just fun to mess around with, but that's neither here nor there. So this is one of the powered ones, but it's as good as useless because it does not have the back of the cab. But I still think that this is a discussion on, you know, the detail and just a little bit more about the line in general. And I think people get a kick out of this. So starting off with the most noticeable thing is <laughs> I got off of face, bro. Like, what the fuck? These are the faces. They are removable. I don't know if they're removable on every single one of the Thomases, but this Thomas does come with alternate faces that you can put on. It comes with like an angry face, and I believe a sad face as well, but uh, unfortunately, I do not have those. I believe that, that you can replace these faces with the Gold Bear Thomas line faces. I'm going to have to verify that with a couple of friends. Um, by the way, if any of my friends that are watching this, you know, uh, Stamp or Jack, you know, love you guys. Uh, hope you're enjoying the video. Um, but I know there are a lot of people that will get like 3D printed custom faces for these guys because they are truly phenomenally detailed engines and they look great. They're a decent size and they just scream, yep, that's a classic Thomas and Friends toy. One of the most unfortunate aspects of these guys, which I mentioned in my Bill and Ben video, is the use of sticker detail. I do not like sticker detail. 
I think that that is the one thing that it is carried over from the Nakayoshi Thomas, but I would have much preferred something along the lines of like the Bandai Tech line with printed detail or the line detail being like molded into it and stuff like I don't know. There could have been something else they could have done for the detail because then you, you sometimes get cases like my Peter Sam over here who's gotten really, you know, beat up and rough around the edges and there's really nothing you could do about it unless you were to go through maybe, you know, someone out there who has like a vinyl cutter, you could like take high quality scans of these stickers and then like for the lining detail, just make like water add-ons or like just, you know, those strong vinyl stickers to place on these guys. You know, I think something like that, you know, maybe that might be something that's worth the investment for me because I do want to do a really nice layout of Departing Now Engine. Something like a fellow content creator, The Famous Eight, who I think is, you know, kind of known as being the Departing Now guy. Honestly, one of the few people that makes very nice videos covering these guys. He's such a great YouTuber, but go, go check him out. Give a follow on, on his socials. Absolutely good stuff. I'd love to do something to that degree, but I would like to get, you know, some proper detailed things. Maybe, I mean, you can see by my Thomas, this one is very sun faded. You know, I might use it as just something to mess around with, or if someone is desperately looking for a, you know, uh, powered Thomas and they have a push along, they want to do a trade. I don't know why you'd want this guy, but maybe you just have a back floating around or something and you really want it, but I'm open to it. But I think nonetheless, I am really happy to have this. I don't know if I'm gonna go through and repaint it and everything, redetail it, because if it is really beat up and it really wouldn't be that much of a burden to, to convert it over, I, but I definitely do plan on replacing that face. There are a couple of molded in details, like you have this lamp here. I do believe that these guys typically have uh, back lanterns. I will put a picture up on screen just to compare them. if. That is true. And then of course, I mean, mine are unfortunately broken off, but they do have nice chrome whistles, which is kind of synonymous with the Japanese Thomas and Friends lines like Bandai Tech and Nakayoshi. So it's really nice to see that carried over to here. It looks phenomenal. As you can see by these arrows at the top, if you wave a magnet over the top of this, you go forward like this, Thomas will go forward. But if you wave it backwards, he'll stop. And the whole gimmick was that you could basically play the fat controller of a big departing now layout, which this was basically like the predecessor to Tomy. I was very shocked to learn uh, when I was researching these guys a while back ago that these did come before Tomy engines. And that's one of the things that is noted that the coupling rod system definitely played a part in inspiring Tomy. Uh, so further reasons why the departing now line is huh, fucking better than Tomy. I've definitely pissed off a lot of other Thomas and Friends creators with that statement, but fuck you, I will take that to my grave. Anywho, Thomas does have stepladder detail down there, which is something that I don't see too frequently on Thomas items, but it's nice whenever it's there. Buffers are molded into one solid piece. So you can see there, they are connected there. And I really like that because they're really you know, like durable. You don't feel like, for example, the Hornby, you know, Thomas and Friends lines, which I did recently make a video. They got some fragile buffers because they are separately fitted, but these, you know, they de they're a lot thicker and bigger. So they definitely feel like they're meant to last. Absolutely love that there. At the bottom, you do get a bit of licensing information down there. If you want to, you know, make sure you got an official, but I don't think there were ever bootlegs made of these guys. The coupling rod is a solid black. I know there are a lot of people that go through and repaint these silver and I honestly don't blame them. I think it looks really nice when they're actually repainted. Who knows, I might also do that. I really wish I could put this in a demonstration, showcase it running, but as I said, you know, it is missing that back piece to really make a full circuit and everything. And even then, like I can't really showcase it being pushed along because you can see there, like it's, not like a Tomy engine where if you don't have the batteries and you want to free roll it, you can. This guy, you can technically free roll it, but it's just a lot thicker and grindier. You know, like it, it's just a lot, it's a lot of friction in there. It's because if you see the way these are powered is you see that little white thing right there, that's actually a little wheel. Like it's supposed to act as a gear that's spinning from the motor down to the wheels and it just rotates it. So you technically can push it, but there is that interference there and there is a lot of friction. So it's definitely not as good as Tomy in that regard. 
However, I think this is still a phenomenal piece and I'm so happy to finally have a Departing Now Thomas in my collection. I did post on my Instagram that I was desperately looking for a normal Departing Now Thomas, but I'm sorry, but some of the prices that, that, that people are asking for these guys and what they're going for, too fucking high, bro. If you, this thing is not worth any higher than like $40. I'd say aim for $35. These are phenomenal engines, but do not fall into the scalper's trap. You know, it's similar case of something like Tommy Oliver. Yes, these are sought after engines. Yes, they're definitely not as common as anything else, but they will show up and you can get them for a good price if you're patient. Don't be as impulsive or, you know, and pay the, those stupid asking prices for a broken engine, like the, 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 I don't know, $80 for a Henry that's missing, like, it, its entire fucking wheel assembly, but that's neither here nor there. But if you're able to pick up the Departing Now, guys, I highly recommend them, and, and it's something that I really do wish that there was another line like this, but unfortunately, with uh, the direction Thomas and Friends is going, and the stupid amount of, of companies converting to only making all engines go merchandise, I don't think we'll ever see something like this, and I'm sorry, but Thomas fans, All Engines Go is still fucking dog shit. Cope and cry about that. Even if this line were to come back, I don't think it would ever be the same if it were to have the detail for All Engines Go. Now, CGI Thomas, I think that would be pretty dope, but I don't even think Bandai has any of the rights to make Thomas merchandise anymore. Maybe I'm wrong about that. I don't really know. Um, another little fun fact before we close off this video is that this right here is the uh, Takara Tugs, um, you know, cargo piece that comes with the dock set. And these actually scale very well because they're both to Waku Waku scale. So if you do want to get these guys and you maybe have the deck, you want a little extra piece of rolling stock, you certainly can do it. And they do indeed couple up if you do something like this. There it goes. Absolutely phenomenal piece here, putting it next to the bill. Bill looks a little big compared to him, but I don't think it's terribly noticeable. There it is, you know, a little, little bit of, it's still shorter all, all in all, so I don't think it's terrible. Here he is next to Donald, you know, definitely more in, in closer scale in terms of the front of the locomotive, but not exactly in the tender department. And then of course, if you want the comparison, Penis Sam, everyone's favorite. I think relatively the Waku Waku scale is very close in regards to like maybe S scale locomotives because these are not as big as like the Lionel O-Gage Thomases, but they're not as small as the Bachman HO scale Thomases. So they're just a really nice size altogether. Definitely have that heft and, and extended detail that I don't think that the Tomy line has. If you are a Tomy Thomas fan, I definitely understand it. I do respect the line as much as I clown on it, but I definitely feel that all in all, Departing Now has my heart. So that's the end of this video. It's a much more shorter video, but I really just wanted to talk about this guy and give a little bit of story time, a little bit of two cents on the unfortunate rise in price of these guys. But hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you all so much for watching. Hopefully next time if I get another one of these guys, it'll actually have all the accessories. But only time will tell. So that's all I got to say for this video, and I will see you guys on the flip side. Benson, ah! Spenton ass! Yes! Spenton yes! Spenton yes!